What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a cold and rainy day here in New York. It is Monday, October 13th, which is actually my birthday. You guys aren't seeing this. So I believe Friday this video will come out. We are up at our Orange County yard. We have a few different things going on here, but first we have this old international here. This is, I believe, a 96. We'll open the door in a second and confirm that. This is a 4800 all-wheel driver. Might actually be sold by the time this video comes out. One person that previously purchased a truck from us asked me for some info on this. He saw it in a previous video where we were talking about selling it. It is obviously just a cab and chassis here. We pulled the salt spreader off of this truck and put it on the blue international inside. But let's confirm the year. Yeah, it's locked. Let's confirm the year real quick. It is a... 1996 if you want the VIN there's the VIN but anyway what you see is what you get I believe my father wants 15 grand for this truck it should fire right up battery disconnect Get the key in here I believe this one has an ignition button actually I don't think spinning the key does anything on this one yep engine start button here fires right up so how many miles are on it? 44,983 miles, 5,863 hours on it. My dad wants 15 grand. It comes with everything you see here. There is hydraulics on it, tanks out there. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment. Let me know. I could make a full video just on this truck, but that is not the main focus of today's video. We have to go inside the garage here. If you saw my video last week, you know that we had a little bit of an issue getting the tray off of the other international back here for the liquid tank, which we're putting on this Terrastar here. The tray was right here. I have it sitting along the wall there, but the tray was mounted here and we didn't have the right size socket to get the nuts off that were on the bolts that lock it on. I'll show you real quick. We have them right here. So you can see it's a pretty big, I believe it's inch and one eighth that nut. Same one down there. This one up here, which I have to find, I don't know where it went. That one was smaller. That's gonna be an issue if we don't have it. I took it out last week. It was this, this rear one here and I don't know where I put it. So I gotta find that, but we need to get this tray mounted on this Terrastar here. It will slide in right here i gotta move my tools i was just tightening down these small nuts here that lock the bracket or lock this like uh tray onto the brackets here but basically these channels slide right in here one two and three and then obviously you bolt them through the hole so let me clean up my tools i'll find that other bolt and nut and then we'll get this thing mounted bolts are so big that they don't fit through the holes in all of these channels here. The next problem is going to be how do we get it to lock with the square head? It's a carriage bolt so this square part is supposed to sit in a channel that way when you put the nut on it doesn't spin the whole bolt. Should be good now. The center one I kind of drilled a little too big. 
but we should be able to get the head to lock, or the, the square part of the carriage bolt to lock while we put the nut on. Actually, Anthony, I want to test fit the tank on here before I tighten it all down. Anthony, don't be still on Anthony. You make pipi right here? It's in serio? Now we have a piscina here.
These bits are amazing. Yo voy muy bien, yo no me pido. No, yo no me nada más. I don't like this rock that we have here. So maybe we have to shove something down in here and eliminate the gap between this like between this rib and the whole you know what I'll show you guys real quick. So there's a space back here. Right there, which when you push the tank, it hits up against it. So maybe we have to maybe like spray foam right in here or something. Something that'll just fill this gap and eliminate the rock in this because you can't strap it up like that then you have the bottom off there and when you fill this thing with all the weight it's going to want to come down so you really want it you really want it sitting on the tray it's actually it's actually kind of floating right now let me let me loosen these a bit all right so there we go now it's sitting flat on the tray there with these pretty much just hand tight so we're gonna have to do something to eliminate that gap, but overall it looks pretty good. Rodrigo just needs to finish switching all the plumbing coming out of this side. He obviously took it out already, but he needs to put it in here. And then obviously you can connect it right into the salt. Basically what will happen is it'll go to a little hose that'll come up here and then it'll spray down on the salt somewhere here, probably right here. It'll probably get bolted right there. It'll spray down on the salt as it's coming out. And then now your salt is treated, but I think that pretty much wraps it up for this one. I actually have to get out of here. I gotta go down to our shop and do something there. But if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Peace.